doing some uh, behind the neck thrusters. Drop a comment below if you've ever done that before. Just, you know, changing it up a little bit. Just testing out the wrist a little bit more under load. Uh, you, you can only do like so many movements before it starts to like get a little bit more uh, stiff and stuff, but it's actually pulled up really nicely this morning and um, now it's just it's just about getting more load on top of it and then that you know getting more accustomed. Say hello. Hello everyone, hello world. Hello! Give him a wave! What are we getting up to? Huh? You look very lean. Oh, don't tell me that! It means I'm not eating enough! I can see your veins. Usually, they don't creep up into your shoulders that way. Oh my, look at that guy, behind you. Behind Maybe you. it's because I haven't been doing anything upper body and I'm just like, like real skinny. It might be. That's probably what it is. It's but, pro you're probably not. Oh, I look swollen. It means I'm eating enough. Too lean. I need to fatten up. I'm doing box squats. I'm just warming up and I'm going up to 345 for Dang. box squats. That's pretty heavy, right? High box to normal box? Uh, just above parallel. Yeah, so on the bench. So yesterday we did rope climbs. Yeah, we did rope climbs. First jump up, it was the first time I've done rope climbs since my wrist. And uh, the first initial jump, Oh, yeah. And like like holding onto the rope, it was like a, ooh. And then like as I got warm, I think as also the body was like, oh okay, like we, we don't need to protect it. It's fine. That was good. It was just good to also get under the get on a different movement. So no problems last night. No problems last night. I, I did wake up a little bit tender because I also did some uh, kettlebell shoulder pain, super light though. Um, but you know, after having coffee, getting the body like moving around the kitchen, like it's actually pulled up really nicely. So I'm actually really happy with how you know we we pushed it a little bit further yesterday, and it, we're, we're on the the right direction, really. Is this kind of how you imagined it, uh, the the gym and everything. Yeah. Uh, I think so. I think I, I still get giddy when we say, "Oh, hey, let's enter the pro space," or "Hey, let's." Let's go now, move over to the proven rig or the rogue rig. So to talk about the gym in a, in a picture where it's, we have a large layout or we have a position to be where we can and control a lot of the uh, uh, athletes' dynamics and what they need for the day and, like, and have the space available. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I, I just hope... I've always wondered as it, like if I was to be an athlete like would this be what I would consider the mecca or the dream to have my own space my own locker room or my own position like a, an athlete staff area to like hang out in because I I never would have dreamt that to be a possibility but I often wonder if the athletes would feel that way but at the end of the day I'm trying to, we're trying to give them an experience that allows them to actually hit the heights that they want to, right? We ask them to be professional in every aspect of their life, training outside the gym, representing themselves. And I'd like their facility at which they spend so much time to match what we're saying in words, so I hope so. Push-ups or wall walks? We'll see. Let's let's go and make a decision. Who's chalk is here? Sydney Wells. <laughs> <laughs> Place for me to step on. Are you recording this? <laughs> Girlfriend! Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a no no. Oh my goodness! 
that feel okay? Yeah. Let's go. That's way better than the other day. Holy smokes. Yeah, so. So we've got bar muscle up. Haven't done them since the open workout, but they feel significantly better. I'm gonna do some wall walks. The other day, I couldn't even really put a lot of pressure on the ground. So like the fact that I now can like actually get that confidence and put pressure on just one hand, like, man, it's a good day. Um, so I'm gonna be doing wall walks and then some thrusters. The front rack as I'm going down into the bottom of the squat, that's, it, it, it's okay, so a little bit um, tight, okay. so, so we'll see how this goes. Basically, just kind of like so, yeah, so walking going, through this going, workout to get my body used to these movements again, and then see how it goes. I'm really happy with how everything is, so I think it will be a, a good piece. I think your triceps are just going to so blow up as well. Oh, uh, absolutely! My arms are going to be absolutely dead. Like they are tiny little twigs right now, <laughs> and I do not have any volume whatsoever. So. At the end, I'm going to be wrecked. Best bars or wall facing? Best bars. How many best bars? Look at you. How many best bars? How many best bars? Puerto Vallarta. Jalisco, Mexico. And then what do you have last? Let's go, Louis. This is how we do it, look. This is how we do it back home. Yeah, you're good. Yeah. Oh! Hey, Dad's watching. Say hello, Brandon. Hey, Brandon. Just training the dogs. Yeah. Training the dogs. Yeah. Making them the mad. The pieces, yeah. Making. He's got them caged up. Yeah. Ready to unleash. <laughs> We're trying to feed them, make them mad, land, like, make them grow, Just unleash them. Right now, they're like. They're on a cage. Yeah. <laughs> Make them, making sure they they're not causing any trouble. Because in May and August, they'll be causing trouble. Yes, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Group one, go to your first station. Just get the logistics out of the way. Group one, go to your first station. That's Tia, Sid Wells, RJ, and Luis. Best grips in town. Luis. <laughs> you really want it with me? I'm at the top. That's one, not two or three. This real life, baby, don't make believe. I just make it look easy like ABC. I'm on it 24 7, 25 8. I just pick up the pace and I violate. I eat it all up like a dinner plate. I been on the move like I'm running late. Left, right, left, let's go. I'm unstoppable. I got money flowing in. In case you didn't know, they used to doubt me. Now I got them like, wow, making boss moves. I've been on a roll. I'm blowing up, gotta put them on hold. I am the bag, that's what I've been told. I keep my cool under pressure like a boss. I'm all in, it don't matter what it costs. All I do is win and look good from the top. Let's go. Stay humble, Olivia.